So today I wanted to have a chat with you about mum guilt because it is something that I feel that every mother or those who identify as mothers have felt at some point and is nothing to be ashamed of. It is an emotion, which is energy in motion and all is welcome. And this kind of transmission is here to show you that mum guilt can actually be a gift because it can help you bring yourself into more balance. So my desire is to share with you a little bit about my story and how I have managed mum guilt because I feel quite free of mum guilt and to inspire you to um, step into your power and make choices that will help you to come back into alignment So if you haven't met me, my name is Gail Berry. I'm an international expert on baby massage and baby yoga. I am the world's leading business mentor for parent and baby wellness businesses. I'm the founder of Love Millions Academy, where I help women step fully into their power and leadership. And I'm a co-founder of the charity Love Support Unite, providing sustainable development in Malawi. And I'm a mummy of three amazing children who, well, I say children, they're young adults, Emily, 22, Xavier, who is 19 and Casper, who is 18. And I had three children under three and a half and I'm still here (laughs) and I'm still smiling and I'm still in love with them and my life and the experience. So I want to share with you how I did all of that and how I have managed um, mum guilt over the years. Okay, so first of all, where is mum guilt coming from? Well, mum guilt comes from yourself. You know, we generate all of our own feelings and emotions with our thoughts and how we perceive things. So if you are feeling guilty about something in your life, it's because you're feeling like you're not enough. You're feeling like you need to be doing more. You are putting expectations upon yourself, which may be completely unrealistic. And so once we start to take radical responsibility for the fact that all of our feelings come from ourselves, because our thoughts, our, our feelings come from our thoughts, and then our thoughts create our reality. So what's really empowering about me sharing this with you is that if you're listening to this now, you have the ability to stop the mum guilt through training your brain to celebrate yourself and to use the power of gratitude rather than to judge yourself, to shame yourself, to blame yourself and to tell yourself that you're not enough. Now, you might be thinking, but I can't help it because the, 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 my thoughts are just there. They're just there. I wake up in the morning. My thoughts are there. I'm, you know, I'm not enough. I feel guilty, shame, blame, all of these things. OK. And, you know, that's because our brains are like sponges. And in the years naught to seven, <clears throat> or particularly in the first 1001 days of life, as you know, that's what I'm passionate about. And even more so now we know it's probably the first 60 days of life. Our brains are creating this our reality they're soaking up all of the patterns the behaviors the thoughts the beliefs the messages that come from our family from society sometimes from our ancestral line that's in our dna and that tell us who we are and what we mean what what you know where our place is in the world and it's that which is now centered in your head that sponge full of uh, all of those thoughts and beliefs And to be honest, probably very few of them are actually yours. You're carrying around other people's perceptions of you. Other people have built this voice in your head that is telling you that you should be this way. You should be that way. The actual essence of you rests in your heart. The essence of you is love. The essence of you is unity with every other thing that exists on the planet. Now, I say that from sounds spiritual but the reality of it is that quantum physics tell us that there everything is connected everything is everywhere at all times that we don't (laughs) actually exist as human beings we are light bodies and the same light that makes up you makes up the sun that makes up nature makes up animals makes up food makes up everything and so we're all interconnected and so the essence of you is love the essence of you is peace the essence of you is to be in cooperation with everything else around you now if you want some evidence of this go outside into nature and just spend a few moments with a blade of grass and you will see that a blade of grass is perfectly happy being a blade of grass it had one job 
job when it arrived on this planet as a seed, and that was to grow into the best blade of grass that it could be and to receive all the sun and the water to help it grow. And that's its only job. And your only job on this planet is to be 100% you and to be your true essence and to be the seed of what is in your DNA. And that's it. So you are love. And you are also your thoughts (laughs) and your beliefs. So when we think about guilt, the way to transmute guilt is to be more in our hearts, to come out of the head and into the heart. And so how do we do that? Well, first of all, number one is celebrating yourself. Okay, so rather than feeling guilty as a mum, what amazing things have you done today that have made your life and everybody else's life around you better? Have you got out of bed this morning and helped your kids get dressed? Have you made the breakfast? Have you sung a song? Have you been to smile? Have you uh, got a plan of some description today? Are you doing the laundry? Are you going out to work because you are bringing money into your um, family? Are you helping people out because it makes you feel good and because you're teaching your children that this is what life is about, walking each other home? What are you doing today that makes you an incredible human being? What are you doing today that's bringing more love into the world? What are you doing today that is expanding um, the universe through love, peace and unity? Because you might not even notice those things that you're doing, but they are really, really important. You know, we tend not to celebrate all of the good stuff. We just focus on the bad stuff. But you are amazing you know the fact that you got up this morning and you're breathing that's a gift okay some people weren't on the wake up list today you were that's a celebration you can be there for your kids in any way that you are your kids are benefiting from you giving them love and even if you think you can only give them this much love and not this much love it's okay because it's still love and it's still appreciated and kids are not judging you kids are not saying oh I need this much love kids are just like yeah I love you you know they're just open-hearted they are yet to have their brains molded into this fixed kind of view of the world they're really fluid and you know when things happen kids are resilient and they bounce back kids understand that some days you're happy and some days you're sad and they they're still lovable you know so the first thing to do to you know let go of mum guilt is to celebrate the hell out of you Okay, what are you doing and who are you being that is amazing? Okay, because you are, you are, you might not think it, but you are. Your mere pleasant presence on the planet is a gift to me, to everybody. And you are an incredible creator. You created a human being and birthed them through your body. Celebrate yourself, okay? That's an amazing thing that you did. And so that's really, really important to celebrate yourself, to get rid of that mum guilt or to integrate it. We don't want to get rid of it. We just want to integrate it because number two is that mum guilt or any emotions that we have, they're not bad. They're not negative. We don't want to kill them. We don't want to get rid of them. We want to integrate them. So when you feel mum guilt, that's a perfect opportunity to say, why do I feel guilty? Why do I feel guilty that I'm not doing this or I'm not doing that? And when you start to question why, you'll find that a lot of the times that you're feeling this way is because there is a thought that has been the dominant thought that, you know, you should be able to do it all or that you should be a size eight when you're a mum or that you should be earning a million pounds or you should be living in a house that looks like this or you should be living in a house like that. So these are all judgments. So when we catch ourselves in mum guilt or mum shame or mum blame or in judgment of ourselves, that is when we get the chance to go, whoa, okay, I can hear this voice and this voice is not me. This voice is the voice of all of the experiences of my life. It's a society. It's of my friends, of my family. It's social media. Maybe it's even like my partner or my friends, but it is not me. Okay. I am here. I am love. And so every time you get these feelings and these shadows come up, this is the opportunity to love yourself more and to just literally say, okay, I'm aware of this voice. The fact that you're aware of the voice means that the voice is not you, because if it was you, 
you would just be you <laughs> and not you wouldn't have the awareness if you can hear the chatter then you have the opportunity to turn the volume down okay and that's the power is not to you know kill the ego not to kill that part of you you need your brain your brain is what thinks and helps you to take action but it's to become aware of what that program is and to start to reprogram it to something that is more in alignment with how you want to feel so it's just a dance between okay i'm feeling like this so but i choose to feel like this okay that voice has come back but i choose to feel like this when we then think that there's something wrong with us or we need fixing or you feel bad because you you feel bad because you're feeling bad, then you're getting into this negative spiral and you can't get out of it sometimes. And then it just goes down and down and down and down. But then we can stop the program and start to spiral up with different thoughts and behaviors about ourselves. So if you're thinking, oh, it's the holidays and I'm trying to do work and I'm looking after the kids, then you can put a loving boundary in for yourself and say to the kids, kids, I've, I'm going to do two hours work and then I'm going to be with you. And when you're with the work, with you with the work. And when we're with the kids, you're with the kids and you're in integrity. You're doing what you're saying. You're creating structure, which gives you safety, them safety. Everybody knows what you're doing so you can relax. And then when you're in the little parts, when you're in the time of your kids, you can have fun. And when you're in the time of your business, you can have fun. So it's really, really important to have these structures in place and to have this awareness and this process of integration rather than this process of rejecting parts of you because then you're pushing parts of you even further away and you don't feel whole you you don't feel complete because there's parts of you that you think are not lovable so we want to bring them home and want to become aware and then we want to bring more love and light to them And then number three is a little bit like celebration. It's gratitude. It's the frequency of gratitude. So every day, what are you receiving that is beautiful, that is abundant? Now, when we think of abundance, we might think of money. Um, Money is just one form of energy that flows to you. Abundance is also the food that is abundantly produced by the earth every single day. It's the strawberries that are growing in the ground that someone is picking and then giving to someone to pack that goes in a truck and goes to a shop that you then buy. That is abundant. You know, that those strawberries come and we can eat them. The breath, our breath, like effortlessly coming into our body, our heartbeat, our health, all of these things, these are abundantly given to us every single day. And then we have time with our children, you know, um, the ability to be present and connected. That's such a beautiful gift. And so there is abundance everywhere for us to receive. Truly, we're living in the most abundant heaven on earth. When you look outside the window in nature and you see what we're being provided with, um the reverence for the earth i mean it's incredible we need to be looking after the earth and caring for the earth really super deeply right now because it's it's, she is the ultimate mother and she is supporting us as mothers so that we can mother our children because she is abundantly holding us with all of these gifts with the with the air with the water with the earth with the fire with all of the elements that come together to produce life absolutely blows me away every time so there's so much gratitude that you can hold for this moment now and as someone who has older children 22 18 19 I can tell you that the time goes so so fast and I you know I would love to have a time machine where I could just pop back into certain moments of my children's childhood and spend a beautiful day with them oh I mean it just makes me really emotional thinking about it now just spend that one day with them um yeah like back in on the beach or playing with the toys or playing tea parties or stroking the heads as they're going to sleep yeah those moments I promise you are going to be the ones that now they might seem like routine in the future they're going to seem like everything because you are the youngest that you're ever going to be on this day to day on this earth and so are your children and so there is so much that you can receive when you just relax and allow and just be in the moment because tomorrow is not promised and the things that we want to do might never come 
But what we have here now is this beautiful opportunity to just love, you know, and love creates love. It is so, so powerful. So that's my invitation to you is to celebrate the hell out of you, to integrate the feelings that you have and not to judge them as bad. They are part of you. They are as lovable as all the other parts. And you are here to feel as a human being. You are here to feel it all. And the bigger your heart, the bigger your feelings. And so you're going to have more joy, but you also might have more sadness. And that is a beautiful thing. And the third thing is just to have super gratitude for this moment, for this day today, and just to spend that time just you don't have to write a list. You don't have to do anything. Just tune into the frequency of gratitude in your heart. Think of somebody that you love. Think of somebody that you receive love from and that you love to give love to. And just think of that person and let it open you up to the magic of life because we are only here for such a short time on this planet that it is your birthright to be fully expressed and fully in the vibration of love. And so I am sending you so much love today. As a mother, I see you as another mother. I see you. I know your path. I can't know the exact parts of your journey and it's going to be different to mine and I've had my challenges and you're going to have had yours and challenge and polarity and contrast is part of human life nobody escapes it and some of us have huge things some of us had small things some for some of us the small things are the big things and some of us the big things are the small things there's no judgment here we are all walking each other home and this is so, so, so important to remember that what you see in me is also in you. If you see a mother, smile at them, send them love, beam love to all the mothers in the world, put them in your prayers, because we're doing incredible things here. We are the goddess, we are the creator, we are the nurturing power that exists on this planet. And I see you, I celebrate you, I honor you. And I hope that this video has been helpful for you today. I'm sending you so much love. Um, yeah, and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.